Dwayne, The Rock, Johnson is one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood. According to Forbes, the former WWE made $124 million in 2018, doubling his 2017 earnings. Back then, he beat out the likes of Robert Downey Jr. and his Fast and Furious co-star Vin Diesel in the ranking. One of the hardest working people in show business, Johnson stars in movies like Mona and San Andreas and on TV shows like HBO's Ballers. He also endorses products and runs his own production company, where he creates starring vehicles for himself, like Rampage, Baywatch, Skyscraper, and Jumanji. With custom cars and extensive charity work, the actor knows how to enjoy himself and spend his hard-earned cash. In 2017, Forbes named Johnson one of the world's highest paid actors. He made a whopping $65 million, and he doubled that in 2018's estimate. Johnson earned his nickname The Rock with his illustrious wrestling career between 1996 and 2004. As a wrestler, he was one of the top box office draws in history. But even then, it was clear he was a star whose charisma exceeded the constraints of the ring. He picked up a few TV and movie roles here and there and starred in big-budget movies like The Mummy Returns and The Scorpion King in the early 2000s as his wrestling career wound down. Johnson commands huge paydays for action movies like the Fast and Furious series, San Andreas, Rampage, Mona, Baywatch, Jumanji, and the upcoming Disney movie Jungle Cruise. He also stars in HBO's Ballers, the fifth season is now in production. Since he joined the Fast and Furious series with its fifth movie, he's become an essential part of the storyline. The next movie, titled Hobbs and Shaw, puts his character front and center. He also runs Seven Bucks Productions with his ex-wife, Dani Garcia. They founded the studio in 2012, after their 2007 divorce. Through Seven Bucks, they've co-produced some of Johnson's biggest hits, like Baywatch and Jumanji, and have a hand in the upcoming projects Jungle Cruise and Big Trouble in Little China, as well as DCS Shazam. He named his production company Seven Bucks for a reason. After flying from Canada to Miami after his short-lived football career ended, he emptied his pockets and found just $7. So how does he spend all that money, anyway? The man loves his cars. In 2016, Johnson showed up to the premiere of Bullers in a Pagani Huera. This car is custom-made, so the price can vary, but the regular Pagani clocks in at around $1 million. He gets from place to place in a Gulfstream G650. He can often be seen bringing his family along for rides. It's unclear whether Johnson owns or rents the jet, but one of these planes can cost up to $65 million. You might struggle to believe that the 6-4-barrel chested powerhouse would fit inside a low-riding sports car, but somehow, The Rock manages. It is widely understood that The Rock's favorite car isn't a car at all, but a truck. The F-150 custom-built pickup can be seen all over the former WWE superstar's Instagram page, and what a beast it is. He also owns the LaFerrari, the flagship hypercar of the world-famous Italian manufacturer, harbors a 6.3-liter V12 engine capable of 950 bhp when combined with the full power of its assisting electric motor. Any worthy superstar wouldn't be complete without a Rolls-Royce to cruise around in it seems nowadays. So of course, The Rock has one. In case you didn't know, Dwayne Johnson is a proud Ford ambassador, appearing in commercials and at launches for the manufacturer all over the world. Last year, The Rock took it upon himself to spend time with a variety of different departments at the company in the hope of getting to know the production process better. Whilst doing this, one particular car stood out the 2017 Ford GT. Describing it as one of the most iconic vehicles ever, The Rock was pictured standing next to the modern racing version of the GT, which won its category in the 2016-24 Hours of Le Mans Endurance Race. However, the dream of driving the road legal version was short-lived as The Rock discovered it to be another supercar he couldn't fit into. The list of cars The Rock owns can still go on and on. What does a guy the sheer size of The Rock need to live in? A massive mansion based down in Florida, of course. This is what the outside of Dwayne Johnson's Miami mansion looks like. After a long, hard day knocking out the bad guys on the set of his movies, The Rock can come home and unwind in this luxurious bathroom. If he wants to chill out in the bathtub for hours he'll find plenty of room in this ornately positioned tub to rest his weary muscles. If he's feeling particularly tired from a long day, then he can even take a seat in front of the mirror while he brushes his teeth before bed. High ceilings in a property pretty much show off your wealth. It shows your guests that you have enough cash to have large rooms without the need to utilize every inch. No celebrity mansion would be complete without a luxurious pool. 
The weather down in Miami is known for being pretty hot, so The Rock definitely needs a place to cool down when topping up his tan. Thanks as usual for your support. Thanks for watching this video. Please share, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.